Nearly 70% of job seekers today say that salary is a key factor when considering employment options. This is Shantani from Edureka and let's have a look at the top 10 highest paying jobs in 2019. On number 10, we have data security analyst. Now data being a valuable resource, tech giants are offering their data security analyst 90,000 USD per annum. Professional data security analysts must be proficient at an array of skills including operating systems, networking, risk management, fluent communication, while also having a knack for creative problem solving. Roles and responsibilities involves protecting information on computers and data networks by installing and maintaining security software, implementing strategies to ensure networks are free of breaches and imparting information to computer users around security policies. Now data security analysts find jobs in multitude of companies ranging from simple college institutions to government organization and even high paying private organizations like UPS Patel Co tech and torch technologies. On number nine we have full stack web developer. A full stack web developer is someone who has knowledge of front end back end web development. He must understand how the web works at every level including setting up and configuring Linux or Windows servers, coding server side APIs and running the client side of the web. Now the average salary of a full stack web developer is 110K USD and an experience of working in the front end and back end is required. Now some of the skills required by a full stack web developer include HTML, CSS, JavaScript, general purpose programming language and relational database system. Now some roles and responsibilities include designing and developing the UI, develop server side code, working with system infrastructure, understanding, creating and querying databases, project management and client coordination. Now companies such as Tata Consultancy, Cognizant, Wipro, Infosys and IBM are looking to hire full stack web developers. Moving on, on number eight we have project manager. Project management is one of the most important tasks that decides the success or failure of the project and the entire responsibility of managing a project solely lies on the shoulders of a project manager. Now being the soul of a project, a project manager pockets an average salary of 63K to 85K USD per year. Now with some major certifications like PMP Scrum Master, the salary can boost up to 115K USD. The major skills required to become a project manager are leadership, good communication, problem solving, negotiation and so on. Now talking about the responsibilities, the list includes planning, scheduling, task sequencing, managing budget, estimating risks, monitoring and reporting progress, controlling quality and all of this while synchronizing their team properly. Now the best part about being a project manager is they are not industry specific. Highly skilled project managers are often recruited by major brands like Microsoft, Dell, L'Oreal, CGI and many more. Now on number seven, we have data warehouse architect. Internet has brought in data revolution. In this world of ever growing data, we need specialists that could help us build and form a bridge between traditional warehousing and modern day data handling. As per the stats on Payscale, a data warehouse architect bags an average salary of 116K USD and data warehouse engineer is expected to have an experience of three to five years. A data warehouse architect must be technically strong and possess knowledge about ETL, data modeling, data analysis, etc. They must have in-depth system and application development knowledge to help design fault tolerant systems. They should also have vision and great communication skills to articulate best architecture designs. Data warehouse architect is also responsible for requirement gathering, planning, design, articulation of data warehousing systems. Now some of the companies hiring data warehouse architect include Amazon, Microsoft and Google. On number six, we have software engineering manager. Software engineering manager is expected to run an organization using revolutionary processes. Now by focusing on an impactful business and running process which would result in large productivity gains, he or she is expected to manage the designs and implementations of software applications. The average salary of such skilled professional would range around a whooping amount of 120K USD. Now the skill set required to make your career in this field is to be able to build, develop and engage a team of engineers from a global pool and lead them to effectively solve challenging software problems. 
Also, a software engineer manager should have in-depth knowledge about software engineering and hands-on experience on programming platforms. Now, the role of this job would be to ensure the best practices around software development. The companies hiring for this role are Amazon, Oracle, Microsoft, offering a pay scale around 120K to 160K USD per year. Moving on, on number five, we have IoT Solutions Architect. Being so young yet widespread, the salaries offered to an IoT Solutions Architect today generally start on the higher side of 100,000 USD per year as it needs an expertise in numerous skills. Although its salary range has an annual bracket of 22,000 to 200,000 USD per year. Now IoT Architect requires skills like application, database network, cloud cybersecurity, sensor architecture, and software engineering practices to build an IoT solution architecture. A solutions architect in IoT must bring together best available digital capabilities to help clients in using technology to transform their businesses. Its roles and responsibilities involve everything from IT modernization and strategies to agile and digital transformation where delivering the leading edge in technology is your responsibility. The soaring market of leading companies endorsing its prolonged use as technological solutions exemplifies its future scopes. Corporate giants include Cisco, Bosch, Amazon, Hitachi, Accenture, and many more. Next up on number four, we have Senior Cloud Architect. Now the demand for cloud computing expertise continues to increase exponentially and will accelerate in 2019 and one of the most rewarding and more requested cloud computing jobs in the IT field today is cloud architect. According to data from Payscale, the average salary for a senior cloud architect is 128,000 USD per year with a reported salary range between 82,000 to 185,000 USD per year depending on experience, location and skill. Senior cloud architects must possess a sizable collection of technical and non-technical skills. In addition, 10 or more years of experience in designing large and complex IT operations in large organizations is required, while strong communication skills are always a plus. High-level responsibilities of cloud architect include planning and designing cloud environments and typically provide guidance throughout the life of a development or deployment project. Companies that hire cloud architects are Oracle, Deloitte, Amazon, JP Morgan, and many others. Now on number three, we have DevOps engineer. Well, let me start by telling that DevOps is not a technology or a framework or a tool. It is a methodology. Now, according to Indeed and AngelList, 80% of the companies pay more than 90,000 USD starting salary to a DevOps engineer. Also, 35% pay at least 115,000 USD and 17% pay more than 125,000 USD. But who is a DevOps engineer? DevOps engineer is somebody who understands the software development lifecycle and has the outright understanding of various automation tools for developing CI or CD pipelines. They are either developers who get interested in deployment and network operations or sys admins who have a passion for scripting and coding and move into the development side where they can improve the planning of test and deployment. Some of the companies hiring DevOps engineer include IBM and Cognizant. Now on number two, we have data scientist. Data science has created a huge impact in today's IT world. As a field, data science rose to prominence owing the record levels of structured and unstructured data. According to Payscale, data scientist has an average salary of 91K USD per year. A top level data scientist with extensive experience in the industry can earn up to 148k USD a year. Now to become a data scientist, you need to possess programming skills like R, Python, statistical skills, machine learning and advanced machine learning such as deep learning. You should also have a knowledge on big data tools and data visualization tools. This also involves identifying hidden patterns, unknown correlations, etc. Now, top companies hiring data scientists are Tata Consultancy Services, Facebook, Capgemini, Google. So on the top of the list, we have Enterprise Architect. An Enterprise Architect's role is multifaceted and extremely dynamic, but the unique nature of this profile along with the deficiency of skilled professionals in this field ensure an average pay scale of 150K USD across the US. Though this field is relatively new, experience strongly influences salary 
An enterprise architect, depending on work experience, takes home between 80K to 210K USD a year. Now their job profile requires them to talk to both technical developers and business managers. An enterprise architect is someone who fully understands a company's business strategy and outlines the technology that is needed to support it with skills like process knowledge, a strong foundation in IT architecture and experience in project management. Now, once you are recognized as an enterprise architect, you have a great chance of landing a job in companies such as Honeywell, Dell, SAP. Now, with this, we have reached to the end of our list. Now, because every industry, every city and nearly every company needs some form of information technology services, there are technology carriers no matter where you live or what your specific expertise. As you know, Edureka provides various online trainings on these latest technologies that will help you land one of these jobs. So what are you waiting for? Get started today. Till then, thank you and happy learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning.